I'm just going to be going through the recommended accessories um, for the Burner HD, the ones that I actually bought myself um, to make sure that you actually are able to use it when you do need it. So as you can see here, this is just the kit as it comes. Um, it comes with the magazine loaded inside it. You can see I've got my, these are called Burner Max chemical projectiles. Got a spare magazine over here that comes with it as well. These little tabs over here, black and orange, you can change on the bottom. Um, orange could be like live ammo, like your chemicals. Black could be inert or just solid plate projectiles, depending on whatever you want. So when you look at the difference here, you can see without having to look inside your magazine what you've actually put inside it. Okay, um, then we have two gas canisters over here, and we've got three different types of, of ammunition. This one, we've got solid projectiles, we've got inert powder, which is just um, for practicing only, and then you've got your burner max, which I've filled my magazines with at the moment. So that's just enough. It's just this a starter pack just to get you going but the reality is like with even with a real firearm you have got to practice as much as possible um, so that when the time arises you don't hesitate and you trust your equipment perfectly um, I myself was put under the test a few weeks ago and I failed um, when someone was putting me under pressure during a, a training session and I just couldn't remember to put the the safety back on uh, so they take a safety off and there's a few other things that they did as well they without me knowing took you took ammunition out of a magazine only one left left one in there so the more that you practice the better you equipped you're going to be and it's i think like any uh, gun if you're not going to practice it's actually not going to give you the value you need when you need it at the time okay so what do i recommend now and um, I mean obviously the first thing is you want to get uh, a box of 10 um, gas canisters you get about three to four magazines out of one of these so one one gas canister here is going to give you between 17 and 20 shots maybe a little bit more so that's the very first thing you should be doing. You should be getting at least a box of 10 of these. The next thing is what I recommended was I then got uh, a, a pack of 95 solid balls. Um, and this is what you use for training. It can also be used for self-defense. These are, these are hard. They are going to do some harm. They're going to give you some pain if you... I shot with this at about 10 meters. <clears throat> okay, so we've got a. That's the second thing I recommend. You you can't practice if you don't have practice rounds, and this is not enough for you to be competent in using uh, the the burner HD or any or any self defense uh, weapon. All right, then the next thing is. What um, I did was I bought a spare set of magazines, which I've got in here, which is identical to what you have there. Um, and how I'm basically set up, I've got two magazines with chemical ammunition and I've got another two um, set up with um, solid projectiles. And I will decide which one I'm going to use. If it's going to be very close range inside my house and my family's near, it's, it could be a problem using the, the chemicals because they are very toxic and um, not long term but uh, you you land up incapacitating your family as well as the intruder if it's very close quarters so if it was if if I couldn't get my family away from the fumes I'd probably uh, land up using the solid projectiles um, until I, I am in a situation where I can switch over to the burner max where they're not gonna not everyone is gonna get um, the, the chemicals only the intruders so that is the that is the other 
accessory I recommend also because one gas canister will give you three to four magazines it means that you can just keep on changing magazines until that one gas cylinder is finished all right and then what I'm talking about magazines what I do recommend is uh, I've got one of these one of the downsides of these magazines is if you accidentally flick this they all come shooting out um, you get used to it with them you know you make a mistake once um, but this is nice and that it does stop it from happening and then also you can put this on your belt and you've got a spare magazine on you without having to look for it so I do have one of those as well um, and then if we talk about holsters this here is the tactical holster from Werner um, really is really good quality um, very very firm I actually have clipped this into my Toyota car door doesn't move at all um, I can't say all car doors are the same I know my Nissan Duke uh, it wasn't like that but uh, in the Toyota it just clipped in like it was like a glove so that's uh, and yeah you obviously it's it's designed to clip on belts straps anything like that so that's the tip the tactical holster over there and then if you want a soft holster this is for more concealed use I do use this a lot um, if you are out and about and um, this has got like a it's got a grip sticky kind of um, material and basically you can put this inside your in between your pants and your body and it's not going to move and no one's going to see it if you got a slightly loose shirt on you um, this is quite a lot more bulkier than this so you are not able to conceal this unless you've got a jacket whereas this over here you can actually just wear it underneath the shirt if you wanted so that is the uh, this is the concealed holster over there and then lastly and actually maybe the most important is um, I recommend getting a pack of these Burner Max. The Burner Max are what sets their pepper shots separate from everyone else and it's because it's not just pepper it's also got tear gas it's got three uh, different types of chemical in there um, we've tested the normal pepper versus the Burner Max and the Burner Max is head and shoulders far more effective than all the other ones so this year is on the day I believe this is what going to save your bacon um, are these shots here because the reason is um, a projectile um, a solid projectile is going to inflict pain most people are going to run away but um, it, after 5-10 seconds they probably would have started to recover from that pain unless you keep on uh, shooting them but um, this over here is going to if you shoot someone in the chest or near the face they're going to be manned down for about half an hour to an hour while they um, recover from the from the chemicals inside the burner max